out of his bed. Welcome back to Ladies Little Shed Shop. Today we are going to be making some Christmas decorations. Can we see decorations, Mrs. S? Yeah. And yeah, we're going to try and make some with the nail gun. No, that is not being used in the house. Unfortunately. But I don't know if this is going to work, okay? So I have 50 mil nails in this because this is also going to be part, forming part of my test of how many nails I can fire from this on one full battery charge. And Mrs. S said, well, why just waste all the nails? And I suppose she's right. 1,720 apparently. That's a lot of whales. Whales the nace? Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of nails to waste. So she said, well, it's close enough to Christmas. Why not make a YouTube Christmas video? And it's like, That's not a bad idea. So we're going to do some nail art. Fingers crossed. Hopefully with a nail gun. It's only for us, it doesn't matter. I need to fire a shed load of nails from this. So let's, let's put them to use, right? This is set on its highest setting and it's going to be going through 8 mil of pine, 18 mil of MDF. Don't know how much that's going to stick up. So what I'm going to use is this cream crackered plastic rule. And you wouldn't think it's a rule anymore because well, most of the numbers have worn off. off. So I'm going to be using this shiny bit of plastic, <laughs> it's not a rule anymore, to stick underneath this so it gives it that little bit more extra height and hopefully it'll just Give it that extra little bit of raise. Let's get playing, shall we? Kids, don't try this at home. Meh. Actually, no one should probably try this at home because you got to go out and you know, spend money on a big nail gun. Unless you've already got one, then try this. Go for it. Why not? Let's let's play. Mrs. S has got to stick these all down first. Lit. And stick. Right, let's get them stuck down. Medium density fiberboard, dog poo, pine. It's just, you know, cladding. Glued them together with some Evo stick wood glue. D3, guaranteed resin bond strength. Try it's clear for exterior, obviously, and interior. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to get through these. This one, I think they're just way too close. That might be lost. That one is going to be the hardest because everything is in lines. Helps if you turn it on. Uh, as we've been learning, this isn't the most consistent consistent when it comes to height. So I'm kind of hoping to give it a little bit extra. Therefore, if I have to tap it down, I have to tap it down. I'm going to give it a practice through one corner, which is definitely getting cut off. Now it's trying just to get it where the nails are meant to go so i have no idea if this is gonna work yeah i missed it doesn't matter it's just like not it. by a lot that's not bad it's, 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 it's not quite a straight line this is just too much fun oh that's the only one that went at an angle maybe knock him back up a little bit ah these are sharp this is going to be brilliant mrs shed shop's going to be the one that's going to be Stringing it. Stringing these because, well, well, she's better than me, it's that simple. Uh oh. Did someone forget to move it? He did. <laughs> I think I need a new uh, horrible workbench. <laughs> They're working so well. Star, bauble, idiot. Oh my god, that was lucky. That almost went through the bloody metal. Five, six, seven. I've got to get seven out. <laughs> oh no! Oh come on! There's no nails anymore because they're still in the sodding workbench. Balls! Need new workbench now. Make that my own god cinema. That's right. No, my dear. Him. Are you giving me a rest? Yes, you should put our knees hurt in. My shoulder's killing me. Oh, yeah, look at that face. I've lost this, haven't I? 
enjoying this, aren't you? Yeah, therapy. Bugger. I'm not looking forward to doing that. But it'll look awesome after. Back to me. Keep going. So this is what we've ended up with. <gasps> this has become a lot heavier. There you go, it's got 322 chuffing nails through it. Awesome. Look at that. A weird ass bed of nails. <laughs> now we've got to get the Dremel, right? And chop all of these off with a cut off disc. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Uh, make sure they're nice and smooth and then I can run it through the table saw to cut it down to size. Then I can use the mitre saw to cut them individually. Bloody hell. There's a lot of work going on for this one. Ugh. And really, all it was was a test piece, sort of, to you know, not waste so many nails. That son of a bitch, I was in bed. Okay, safety first. Uh, we stick it on my full face. Just in case that this explodes, you never know. Pretty solid, I think it's polycarbonate. That tells me I've got a f***ing screw or nail in there. Shit. Yeah, please don't say I've broken my f***ing saw blade. We're going to go for a bit of sapili as an edge, as a border, as a frame to go around them, really. to do and now I'll get back to yeah. you right we're gonna be using a DMC 3814 which is this nice green it's normally six strands like this ANC 971 like that but me and Mrs Shed Shop split it so it's just two to try and make this look I don't know nice so so let's get going she's also given me this uh, upholstery needle which will help to push the thread down between each one here we go You enjoying this? Yeah. Yeah, this chair is still going. You haven't seen that video? Go check that out. Now they've been sanded and had the dust wiped off, I am going to, without getting it on the uh, cotton threads, <laughs> This is going to be a task. I'm going to use me rusting sand and sealer because I can't get hold of the other one. Uh, the the, the baritone, baritone, whatever it ain't. I can't get hold of that one anymore for some reason. It seems to be a lot cheaper than that one was, but it does the job. Wipe on. Then I'll give it a quick light sand, then another coat, then a buff. Back in a month. think of that then this was a great way to use up some nails from the nail gun from not wasting 1720 nails and if you haven't seen just how many nails that nail gun can fire on one charge go watch that video this has come out really nice I quite like it 
first time I've actually used the miter saw to cut miters quite nicely and properly to frame something. I liked it, I think it comes out alright, I hope you think they look good and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you to Mrs S for helping me, otherwise whew, I'd probably have blisters all over me fingers. And uh, Thank you for watching, please like, subscribe, click notifications, see you again soon. Thank you for watching, easy with